are joining today for vinyasa flow yoga practice we still have uh, a minute left to go live with our yoga practice i hope you can hear me just need a confirmation from your side let me know if you can hear me clearly it's 5 o'clock tuesday afternoon and time for vinyasa flow yoga practice here on hoboken library's facebook page i welcome you all whoever is joining today for today's flow it's going to be a little power workout so we are going to add few chaturanga push ups to our practice you can take it easy by doing a slightly easier modification which i will be instructing you in our asanas today so on that note let's begin our practice today by getting ourselves comfortable in our seat it could be any cross legged position i am in sukhasana where my ankles are next to each other i am sitting on a block that helps to get a little more length in our spine taking it up all the way up to the back of your neck allowing your crown of your head to lift a little more higher towards the sky gather your shoulder blades behind your back so that the heart nicely opens up for the practice elbows are gently dangling by your sides you can have your index finger and thumb together in kan mudra gently placed onto your thighs palms facing up and slowly bring in your attention onto your breath beginning to deepen your breath becoming aware of your body notice the different sensations you might have at this point of time from the tip of your toes all the way up to the crown of your head and then slowly bring in your palms together at the heart center in anjali mudra we'll begin with our practice with one chant of om if you want you can also hum it out Take a deep inhale. Oh. Gently bow your head to your heart. And slowly lift your head up. Open your eyes and get your hands back onto your thighs. We are going to begin with our warm ups uh, with our regular cat and cow. So bring yourself on the mat in a tabletop position where your hands are shoulder width apart. Cat and cow is a good way to start uh, any yoga practice that is completely helps us to open our body. So get your hands shoulder width apart, fingers are nicely spread onto the mat. Your knees are exactly under your hips. Curl your toes behind. Spine is nice and parallel to the ground. inhale and begin to lift your heart and your tailbone up drop your belly down towards the mat exhale uncurl the toes and round your spine up notice how the shoulder blades are going away from each other as you push your hands into the earth inhale curl your toes and one more time allow your heart to come forward exhale and curl the toes and round the spine draw your belly button in 
draw your chin a little closer towards the chest. Inhale and lift. Exhale and round your back one last time. Notice the sweet spot. Inhale and slowly begin to come back to neutral. Now take the heels of your palms and allow them to face them forward. Fingers are pointing towards your knees. Just notice the stretch in your entire arms, biceps, forearms. And then slowly, again, get your fingers back towards the front of the mat. Curl your toes behind and lift your knees. Allow your knees to hover over the mat. Draw your belly in, supporting your spine. And stay here for a couple of breaths. Beautiful. Slowly, as you exhale, bring your knees down. Lift your right leg up, stretch it behind your back and just feel how your calves, your hamstrings, your quads are feeling in the stretch. Slowly begin to lift your right leg up in line with your spine. Get your gaze over your right shoulder to make sure that it's in line with the spine and slowly begin to get it over to the right side as far as you can get it. And then slowly get it over to the left. Press the toes onto the mat. Get your gaze over on the toes. Inhale, lift it up. Take it towards the right. Slowly towards the left. Lift it up back again. Take it towards the right. One last time. Take it towards the left. Beautiful. Inhale, lift your leg up and slowly bring the knee back onto the mat. Let's take it over to the other side, to the left side. Stretch your left leg out first. And then slowly begin to lift your left leg up. Take your gaze over your left shoulder to make sure it's in line with the spine. Slowly begin to take it towards the left side and then over to the right to the left, to the right, last time to the right, left I mean and then to the right. Observe the stretch in the entire left side. Beautiful inhale slowly begin to lift your leg up and bring the knee back onto the mat. Get your hips relaxed onto your heels. Stretch your arms forward. Allow your knees to go wide apart. And just sink into that space you have created in child's pose. Take a couple of breaths here. To build up heat. And with your next inhale, begin to lift your hips up and back in our first downward facing dog of the practice. Press your hands into the mat. Push your armpits a little closer towards the top of your thigh bones. Pedal out your feet. Taking one heel at a time towards the earth. And then coming to a still dog. Notice the stretch in the entire backside of your legs. As you push your arms closer towards the thigh bones. Inhale and begin to walk your hands towards your feet in a forward fold. Make sure your feet are hip width apart. So if you keep two fists in between your feet, that's how, how much is your hip width distance. Relax your head. Let it simply go down towards the earth. Relax your lower abs onto the top of your thigh bones. Keep a micro bend in the knees if it's too much. Don't hyperextend your knees. Inhale 
and begin to slowly rise up one vertebrae at a time, taking your own time to come up. Reach your arms up over your head, take a stretch, take a gentle back bend, slowly come back to the center. With the right arm, hold the left wrist, taking your lift, lifting your left arm up, exhale and begin to bend sideways on towards the right side. Stretch your arm, inhale slowly, make yourself up back to the center. Let's switch our arms with the left hand, hold the right wrist and as you exhale, let's take it over to the left side. Inhale, slowly come back to the center, get your hands behind your back, clasp your fingers behind your back, roll your shoulder blades behind so that the shoulder blades are coming together, inhale and as you exhale begin to fold forward taking your arms up towards the ceiling, keep breathing and keep a softness in your face, release your fingers, slowly bring them back onto the mat and begin to walk your hands forward coming into our high plank. Draw your belly in to help support our spine. The spine and the back of your neck is in one line. Heels are pushing towards the back side. Hamstrings and calves stays lifted up. Beautiful. Over here, we are going to take five push-ups. So, if you are intermediate or advanced practitioner, you can take five push-ups here. For those of you, who would like a little modification can get their knees down. Make sure the hips are in line with the spine and the back of your neck. And then as you exhale, slowly lower yourself down. Beautiful. Two, three, four, five. Beautiful. On the sixth, take a chaturanga. Allow your belly to rest onto the mat. Push your pelvis into the mat as you lift your heart and head up for cobra. Make sure the shoulders are going away from the ears. Exhale. Slowly lower your head down. Curl your toes and lift yourself up in a downward facing dog. Inhale. Lift the right leg up, bend the right knee and get the right heel closer towards your hip. Opening the right side of your body, getting a stretch. But at the same time, keeping your shoulders squared. Beautiful. As you exhale, slowly bring that right foot towards the front, in between your hands, in a low lunge. Fingers and toes are in one line. Slowly you can bring the left knee down. And begin to push yourself forward. Opening the left hip flexor here. You can keep your hands here. Or you can get it on your hips. If this is easy, then you can allow your left knee to be lifted up. Now keeping the left hand onto the mat, inhale and lift your right arm up towards the sky. Keep breathing. Exhale, slowly bring the right hand down. Coming back into our low lunge. Inhale and begin to lift your torso up. Hands frame your ears. Make that back leg nice and strong. Relax your shoulders. Keep isometrically drawing your legs towards each other. One more breath here. And then as you exhale, bring your hands down to frame that right foot. Right leg goes back into a plank. And time for push-ups again. Exhale. Two. Three. Four, five, beautiful. 
down to vinyasa inhale for a cobra or an up dog curl your toes behind and exhale it out in downward facing dog or adho mukhishwanasana take your time to come back to the natural rhythm of your breath here in downward facing dog deep inhale in and a long exhale out beautiful inhale lift the left leg up bend the left knee and get the heel closer towards the hip make sure your shoulders don't open up but they stay square and as you exhale your breath slowly bring the left leg in front in a low lunge toes and fingers are in one line slowly bring the right knee down onto the ground and begin to push your pelvis forward getting a nice stretch in the right hip flexor you can get your hands even onto your hips and try to push your pelvis forward to go a little deeper now keeping your right hand onto the mat inhale and lift your right left arm up going into a twist if you are a beginner you can get your knee down and enjoy the same twist exhale slowly bring that left hand down inhale and lift your arms and torso up for a high lunge biceps are framing the ears keep isometrically hugging your arms towards each other settle down from the pelvis keep drawing energy from the left foot up into the core and from the core extend it out in all directions beautiful one more breath here and as you exhale slowly bring the hands down to frame the left foot left foot goes back into a plank or falakasana and time for our vinyasa exhale chaturanga inhale for a cobra or an up dog exhale it out in downward facing dog take a big inhale in through the nose and sigh it out through your mouth one more time a big inhale in through the nose and let it out through the mouth beautiful inhale lift your right leg up and as you exhale slowly bring that right foot front again in between your hands to the front of the mat plant that left heel down so that the toes are pointing towards the left corner of the mat and slowly begin to come up in our warrior one or virabhadrasana one you can heel to your right foot towards the right side to have a little more balance in your warrior one keep breathing make sure the shoulders are not going up but relaxed here pelvic floor is parallel to the shorter edge of the mat beautiful one more inhale and as you exhale let's go into a twist here to the right reaching your arms out in opposite directions in at shoulder height beautiful slowly come back to vira one and as you exhale your breath open up your warrior to come back to warrior two making sure that the front knee is exactly over the right ankle hands are reaching out in opposite directions torso is in the center keep hugging your thighs towards each other keeping your gaze on to the right fingers inhale and let a long exhale out 
beautiful now we are going to turn our left toes to make them point towards the left corner of the mat so from warrior two we are going to begin to transition into a side lunge you can come onto your heel or to your right side just make sure that your spine is in straight line and you are not bending down or rounding your spine beautiful back to warrior two exhale it out in side lunge one more time inhale warrior two slowly making your transition into a side lunge beautiful warrior two exhale cartwheel your hands down to frame that right foot right foot goes back into a plank or palakasana exhale either knees chest chin or chaturanga dandasana where you come down in one plank inhale for a cobra or an up dog exhale it out in downward facing dog Again, take your time to come back to the natural rhythm of your breath here. Let's take it over to the other side. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And as you exhale, slowly bring it forward towards the front. Plant that right heel down onto the mat so that the toes are pointing towards the right corner of the mat. Inhale and lift your torso up in warrior one. Draw your belly in and just keep breathing. Keep the focus on your breath. Keep sending energy out through the fingers and back into each foot. Inhale. And as you exhale, let's open out into a twist towards the left side. Beautiful. Inhale, slowly come back to warrior one. And as you exhale your breath, open your arms out, making your way in our warrior two. The back foot is parallel to the shorter edge of the mat. Gaze is on the left fingers. One more breath here and then slowly begin to turn your toes to point towards the right corner of the mat. Inhale. As you exhale, begin to transfer your weight sideways. Coming into a side lunge. Taking your own time to settle into the pose first. And then getting into the momentum. Going back to warrior two. Exhale it out in a side lunge. Back to warrior two and exhale it out in a side lunge skandasana inhale back to warrior two deep inhale in and as you exhale your breath let's get our hands down to frame the left foot left leg goes back into a plank or kalakasana and time for a vinyasa either knees chest or chin or Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale for a Cobra. Exhale it out in Downward Facing Dog. Beautiful. Let's take two full breaths here. In through the nose. And let it out to the mouth. One more time. In through the nose. And let it out through the mouth. Beautiful. Slowly get your knees onto the mat. Finding your child's pose. Allow the two toes to come together behind your back. Allow the knees to go out wide. And just sink into the space. Relax your forehead. Relax your forearms. Coming back home.
taking a quick scan of your body. Notice how you're feeling right now. And with your next inhale, slowly begin to push yourself up, making your way in our thunderbolt pose on Vajrasana. The toes are pointing straight behind your back. If this is something difficult for you, you can get a block in between your legs, in between your ankles and you can allow your hips to gently rest onto that block. Get your hands onto your thighs, open your shoulders. We'll do a couple of arm exercises here. Inhale, lift your right arm up, place it behind your back. With your left hand, draw that elbow behind. Getting a nice tricep stretch here. Beautiful. And slowly get that left hand out towards the side. Allow the thumb to point down towards the earth and slowly externally rotating that shoulder. Get the two middle fingers to touch behind your back. If your two fingers are not meeting, you can take the help of a strap or a necktie or a belt or a hand towel. Beautiful. Slowly release your arms. Let's take it over to the other side. Let's take the left arm behind our back. With the right fingers, press the left elbow behind. Getting a nice tricep stretch on this side. And then slowly allow your right arm to come towards the right side, thumb pointing down and then externally rotating your right shoulder. See if you can get your fingers to meet. You can also take the help of the other arm to draw your right arm a little closer towards the left fingers. One more breath here. slowly release your arms. Shake your arms if you feel any tightness in them. Let's get the left arm out towards the right side with the right hand. Press the left arm towards your chest. Beautiful. Let's take the right arm towards the left. With the left hand, press your right arm towards the chest. This feels nice after the push-ups. Slowly release your arms, get rid of the block, come onto your sitting bones, get your legs extended out, spread your toes nice and wide, sit up nice and tall, roll your thighs in, out and apart, sit up tall, get your hands by your hips, push your fingers into the earth to lift yourself a little more higher, Dandasana or Staff Pose. Inhale and lift your arms up. Exhale, begin to hinge at the hips and slowly fold forward. You can hold your shins here wherever you are today or ankles or you can even use a strap. You can hook the strap onto your ball mounts. Each exhale, try to go a little deeper in your forward fold. Taking your own time to enjoy the pose. Surrendering yourself to your breath and to this moment. Being present in every moment is what yoga is about. be able to witness what's happening in the moment. Inhale and slowly begin to lift yourself up. Keeping your left leg stretched out, get the sole of your right foot, place it at the left inner thigh, allow your torso to face that extended leg. Inhale, lift both your arms up. Exhale, begin to fold forward. Make sure that the right thigh 
is planted onto the ground and it's not lifted up. With each inhale, lengthen your spine and with each exhale, fold forward a little more further. Notice the stretch and enjoy the sweet spot this pose has to offer us. Janu Shirshasana or head to knee pose. Inhale and slowly lift yourself up. Get your hands back onto the mat. Let's take it over to the right side. Extend your right leg out. Left sole comes onto the right inner thigh. Face that extended leg. Press that right quads, hamstrings and calves into the mat. Inhale, lift your arms up. And as you exhale, begin to hinge at your hips. Slowly folding forward over that extended leg. Using your out breath to go a little deeper in your bend. Make sure you are not rounding your spine, but you are lengthening first and then folding forward. Notice if this side is a little different than the other one. Send your breath to that part which feels a little tightness, which needs a little love. Beautiful. Inhale. Slowly begin to lift yourself up. Get your hands back onto your mat. And get your feet back together in our Sukhasana our comfortable cross-legged position. Sit up nice and tall. Take your shoulder blades behind your back. Open your chest. Keep your chin nice and parallel to the ground. Close your eyes. And then slowly bring in your palms together at the heart center. We will close our practice with one chant of Om. Take a deep inhale. Om. Gently bow your head to your heart in gratitude for the gift of this day in our lives. Namaste. Thanks for joining today. I hope you liked today's practice. Do try it out. You can add as many Chaturanga Dandasana as you want to make it a little more uh, power yoga or you can take it easy by getting your knees down and getting the same uh, work done with a little less effort. So if you have any questions, uh, you can comment below and I'll be very happy to get back onto it. And do join us again uh, on next Tuesday here on Hoboken Library's Facebook page. Until then, take good care of yourself. Thank you. Namaste.